Hey there, it's Harvey Slater, Holistic Nutrition Coach. How's it going? So I'm gonna teach you how to make super simple, healthy, comforting mashed potatoes. Actually, they're smashed potatoes, and they're gonna be infused with spinach and tofu, and we're gonna make a wild mushroom gravy to go on top of them. Perfect for this oncoming cold season that's coming in pretty soon here. So anyway, I've got, uh, first I want to make the special cream that we're going to put in the potatoes. It's made of tofu, cashews, and almond milk. So we have about three ounces of tofu. It doesn't matter if it's firm or soft, but it does need to be drained out of the water. And it's good to press it uh, just to get the water out of it. This comes to about a cup. So if you want to just measure it, you can also do it that way. This is one uh, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk or any kind of plant-based milk. So that could be... Um, hemp or coconut or whatever. I like the combination of toasted coconut and almond milk from the Calafia Farms people. And then this is a quarter cup of raw cashews. So we're going to just um, blend this up in a high speed blender until it's nice and creamy and smooth. So you can see that the consistency came out really nice. Okay, so for the mashed potatoes part of this, or smashed potatoes, I call them, because we don't even take the peel off, as you can see. We keep the peel on there. Um, it just makes it faster and easier. Why waste food? There's some nutrients in there, um, and it makes them kind of rustic and a little bit more interesting. Anyway, what I have here is about a pound and a half of two different kinds of potatoes. I have a Yukon Gold, which makes a really excellent mashed potato, and then I have a few red uh, fingerling French fingerling red potatoes in there mixed in as well. So we're just going to put this on to boil. And I don't know, this is a chef thing, but we always put a little bit of salt in the water. And uh, we're just going to let that do its thing and boil. It's probably going to take, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 minutes until those are cooked. An alternative to this would be to steam these and they're going to retain a little bit more of their minerals because when you boil potatoes, the minerals come out in the water. But I'm doing this the traditional way right now for the sake of this video. So the potatoes are going, we're just gonna let them do their thing. All right, for the gravy, what we have is, these are dried mushrooms that have been soaking in one cup of hot water. I picked porcini mushrooms because they're super delicious, really dense with flavor, and they make a really great broth, but you can choose any kind of wild mushroom that you want. And it's one ounce of dried mushrooms with one cup of hot water, and that's been soaking for at least an hour. So that's gonna be, a part of our um, gravy and we're going to be draining the gravy or excuse me the broth out of the mushrooms in just a minute and that way we'll have the mushrooms separate from the liquid and this is how we're going to compose our beautiful gravy so for the mushroom gravy we're going to saute some stuff first so we have here a just a pan you want the pan to be like a saute pan but you want it to have a little depth because it's you're going to actually simmer the gravy in there and this is more of a mushroom sauce than a gravy because it doesn't have traditional roux, which is made of butter and flour. We're doing a little healthier, lighter, gluten-free version using arrowroot. So anyway, this is about a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil. And to that, we're going to add, this is about a half a basket of regular cremini mushrooms. So that's about uh, three ounces. And then we have over here, this is uh, one garlic clove and one shallot chopped up. So we're gonna add that. And then we're gonna let that saute for a little bit until the mushrooms start to brown. So we're just gonna stir that around, let that saute for about maybe four or five minutes. So those mushrooms are getting nice and brown and we're going to add, this is the Porcini mushrooms that have been drained. So this is just the rehydrated wild mushrooms without the broth. We're gonna add that. And we're gonna let that saute in for about five more minutes. Okay, now for the last step, we have uh, these mushrooms, shallots, and onions all looking brown and beautiful. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and add, this is the 
mushroom liquid that was from the rehydrating of the mushrooms. This is about a cup of vegetable broth. And then this is about a third of a cup of water with a heaping tablespoon of arrowroot. And you're going to dissolve the arrowroot in the water. And then you're going to put the arrowroot in there. What is that going to do? That is going to actually thicken it a little bit. It's going to help it get a little bit thick. And it's using a root, not using flour or gluten or butter. So it's just a little bit lighter, healthier way to get a thick gravy. And then we're going to add, um, this is just some herbs de Provence. And we're going to do a nice generous pinch. And I always like to rub the herbs through my fingers when I'm adding them because it brings out some of the flavors a little more. And then last but not least, we have about two tablespoons of chopped parsley. So we are just going to put that in there and let that simmer. And if you remember, we had our uh, potatoes. And we're going to go ahead and let the potatoes simmer as well. And we're going to be basically letting both of these things simmer together. And we'll be back to show you how to finish it all up. As you can see, because of the arrowroot, the uh, mushrooms get pretty, start to get kind of glazy and thick fairly quickly. When that happens, you just want to turn it down to low and let it simmer nice and easy while the potatoes are cooking. So the potatoes are done, and in general, um, potatoes are going to of this size are going to take about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on after it starts boiling. So the water starts boiling, then you wait about. 15, 20 minutes, just test them with a fork. If it goes through and they're nice and soft, they're done. So I am going to um, go ahead and strain these. And then I'm gonna put them right back in the pot. And I also wanted to point out that the mushroom gravy is nice and thick now. You see how thick that is? And I am going to add just a splash, maybe the equivalent of like two tablespoons of almond milk. That's just gonna make it look a little bit creamier and a little more like gravy, but you can see that's a really nice consistency now for our gravy. We're also going to add just a splash, maybe like a quarter teaspoon of liquid aminos. And that is going to be, um, an alternative to salt and it just ties in with the wild mushroom flavor just a little bit better so you always just want to taste for seasoning and make sure it tastes really good and that it does it is quite delicious so we're going to set that aside with the potatoes what we're just going to do is we're going to go ahead and just add all of the other stuff so i have here uh this is one bunch of spinach that's been julienned up really fine. You want it kind of fine because you want to make sure that it melts into the um, potatoes. It's going to like wilt down a little bit. This is the cream that we made before, the special tofu and cashew cream. I'm going to go ahead and put the whole thing in there. That's going to make it super delicious. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt and fresh cracked pepper always for seasoning just to give it some extra taste and we're going to start smooshing it up if you have a, have a potato masher you can use a potato masher for this um, I just always like to use the tines of a fork so I'm going to show you the sort of the uh, more like you don't need as many tools you can just use what you have in your kitchen version which is just using the fork and we're just going to go through and start smashing the potatoes with the fork like that basically and we're going to start smooshing everything together 
and you just want to keep smushing and smushing until it gets into more of a mashed consistency. So that's going to take just a, you know, not too long, a couple minutes maybe. You can also use a masher like I said, but this is coming together pretty nicely already. So it's going to end up being like a rustic, um, kind of a chunky mashed potato. That's why we call it smashed potatoes. But just look at how colorful that looks. Doesn't that look awesome? Yum. And then don't forget the plant-based secret weapon, secret ingredient. It's not a secret anymore because I keep talking about it. You probably know if you've seen my videos, the nutritional yeast. That's great for some extra flavor. And I'm going to put just a more, another splash of almond milk in there just to break it up a little more. And just keep mushing it around with your fork. And you can whip it a little bit like that if you want. But that is looking quite delicious. Now it's up to you whether you want to add that almond milk or not. If you don't add the model almond milk, it's going to be a little more chunky and dry. If you add the almond milk, it's going to be a little more whipped like this, kind of the consistency of grits. But there we have pretty much a done deal. Smashed potatoes with spinach and tofu infused in them. And the infusion of tofu comes from that cream that we, that we made. Oh, that tastes so creamy and yummy. Mmm. All right, so we are ready to build our plate and I will show you how to do this. So to make our bowls, we're just gonna take a nice big mound of mashed potatoes and we're gonna make it hole in the middle like that. Make sure there's some walls around the outside. And then we're just gonna take our mushroom gravy and we're going to put it in the middle like that. And that, my friends, is a beautiful wild mushroom gravy with spinach and tofu infused mashed potatoes. Super yummy for your cold comfort food evenings. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to have you try it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.